Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm using Scrollerbox89 in which they sent the most amazing hardback concertina sketchbook, some coloured pencils, a biro and a Durant alcohol blender. Um, Alright, let's see what we can make of these. As I'm sure you've noticed, I've already swatched all the colours. I couldn't help myself, I had to try everything as soon as the box arrived. Anyway, the prompt for this is dish of the day. So I got this idea to do like a table edge at the beginning of the sketchbook with a delicate little lace tablecloth hanging off the edge and then different dishes would um, unfold as you uh, unfold the pages you'd see different um, plates of food or different items of food on the table. It seemed like a great idea, have like a bitten macaroon on the edge with some crumbs next to a whole bunch of other macaroons, but something didn't feel right, like the proportions weren't right, or the, the um, I don't know, the table edge didn't feel right, something about it just didn't work for me. So I decided to scrap it and um, go with a simpler idea, just have a stack of macaroons, have them a little bit bigger so you can see more detail in them, and then see what other ideas I get for the other pages. I have to mention that when I tried the alcohol blender pen on my swatches, I really didn't like how it behaved with the colors. It kind of muddied the colors and moved them around rather than blending. Wasn't sure if it's to do with the paper or the pen, but uh, I decided not to use it at first. So I'm just going to start out by using the pencils and I will come back to the blender and give it another chance later. Now, I love my pencils nice and sharp when I use them, and I have to say that these Durant Artist pencils hold a point really well. The red one, unfortunately, as you can see, must have had a slightly damaged core because um, I sharpened away pretty much half the pencil trying to get a point on it. But the rest of them do hold well, and when you use them, they're nice and firm and they keep the point really well. The downside to these, unfortunately, is um, they're not very pigmented, or at least not all of them. I could get the red and the blue to lay down quite bright colors. The rest of them seem quite muted, and they don't, um, you, you can't get a lot of layers out of them. So three to four layers is about the most, and then they kind of give out. You can't layer them anymore. And I wasn't able to mix colors with these. Um, at the moment, I'm not entirely sure if it's the pencils or the paper, but I really love this sketchbook, so I really don't want it to be the paper. Here I'm trying to make a new colour by mixing the cream with the red, purple and blue that I have, but as I said, they don't layer well, so no matter how hard I press, the colour difference just was barely evident. But I don't want to have two of the same colour macaroons, so I've laid down some cream and I'm slightly, um, just very lightly adding the blue and then going over it with cream again, so give it a... I don't know, I'm hoping for a hint of green or at least a difference to the blue that's going to be on top. You can just about tell that they're not the same color, so I'm happy with it. I'm going to follow this video with a series of shorts where I try out different brand pencils on this paper just to see how they behave. And now I'm going to give this blender pen another shot and I want to try using it with both the pencils and the biro that was in the box. I'm using the biro first, just drawing a basic apple, give it a little bit of shading and then blend it all up and see how it comes out. I actually really like drawing with biros. Um, I used to do slightly more complicated um, images with bi with a big biro, as it happens, back when it was kind of like a thing and it just came out and everyone was doing it. I had to try it and yeah, I really loved it. It's very satisfying. This one happens to go down really smooth. I like it. And I think it's actually made uh, entirely from recycled plastics or something like that. So yeah, really cool, really cool pen. 
Oh wow, I really didn't expect this. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is incredible. It, um, the alcohol blender <laughs> literally turns it into paint. That's really cool. I'm giving it another go, this time with pencils. Just drawing a really simple cherry, gonna colour it in and blend it. The blender doesn't seem to be doing much for the pencil, so I'm gonna give it some biro shading and then blend it again. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss all the pencil tests I'm going to be releasing daily for the next week or so. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye.